Last week, Reflect released our new advanced search and the ability to chat with your notes using AI. It feels a bit like using ChatGPT, except it's pulling on information directly from your notes, which makes it feel a lot like chatting directly with your own brain. Now, I've been playing with it for a while, and it seems like each day I'm finding a new use case for it. So I'm sure there will be other videos like this where I go through additional workflows and discover you the things that you can do with this. Um, so subscribe to our channel so you get those videos. And if you haven't yet tried it, you can for free at reflect.app. There's a free two-week trial, but make sure that you upload your notes first because otherwise you're not going to have any information to call on with these features. But for this video, I'm going to walk through four of my favorite examples using it as a personal CRM and asking it uh, questions about people and companies, you know, uh, getting some knowledge from books we've saved. And of course, you could apply this one to saved links, videos, whatever, but I'm going to use it for books. Uh, conducting research, so chatting with the research paper and extracting knowledge from it. And then one of my simple favorites, which is uh, getting future reminders that I have in future daily notes, which is how I remember to do things. Um, so if you have other examples that you've come across, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll try them myself and we will probably feature it in one of the next videos. But let's get started with these examples for today. Okay, so here I am in Reflex Advanced Search. Again, you can pull this up at any time using the command K shortcut. And let's say that next week I'm traveling to Boulder, Colorado, and I want to know what companies I know there in case I want to set up any meetings. So I'm going to go to tags and I'm going to select my company tag. And then I'm going to uh, either click on the chat button there or use the command J shortcut. And I'm going to ask what companies do I know in whoops, Boulder. And I'm going to ask, it will search through all of my notes with the company tag. And it looks like I found a few here. So, you know, Startup Cookie, that's my own company, um, because it's just an example. And Ozo Coffee, that's just a coffee shop. I don't care about that, really. But Forged Bands and Baby Bird Films are actual companies I know, and they could be potential clients. So uh, if I wanted to set up a meeting with someone from Baby Bird Films, I could go into my note there, uh, click on the contact who I have, and send them an email, set up a meeting. Pretty simple. Uh, let's go back into the search and let's say that um, we don't care about uh, companies specifically, but I want to know who I met with last week. So I'm going to select my daily notes and say that it is after one week ago because I only care about the last week. And then again, maybe this time I'll use the command J shortcut. And I'm going to say, who did I have a meeting with last week? And let's see what it says. Cool. So I found a couple there. Um, I realized that I don't really want them all listed together. So maybe I can say, can you please put those in a list? And it's like ChatGPT, like you can ask it to reformat things. Um, sometimes if it comes back with something that, uh, you know, it says I couldn't find the information, but you suspect it's there, you can <laughs> literally tell it to try harder or you know, use your knowledge to go piece by piece and accomplish something. So similar to how in ChatGPT, you had to mess around with it a little bit to kind of um, get the results you want. Don't feel like you should abandon it after just one search query. Treat it like an actual chat, like you're chatting with the system or something. Um, okay, so I think that's kind of good for the personal CRM example. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go into what I would consider a more fun example with learning because I uh, enjoy reading more than I like meetings. So here you can see that I have my book tag uh, selected. And that really just means it's going to search my library of actual books. Uh, I could also, you know, search links and it could search my article links. Uh, you know, if I had a video tag, it could search all the videos that I've saved. But for this one, I'm specifically thinking of a book. And this actually happened to me last week where I knew that I had read some book about product or idea validation, but I couldn't remember what the exact book was. Uh, fortunately, I don't need to definitely didn't remember the author don't need that either. So I'm going to pull up the chat now that my libraries are selected. And I'm just going to ask it, uh, what book have I read about products and idea validation? And it's going to to search my library. And there it is the mom test. And I know off the top of my head, that's exactly the book I was thinking of. But fortunately, it also includes a description. So I know for a fact that's the one that I was thinking of. And I could, of course, now click into it and go view the information and read through it. But 
with the AI chat, I don't have to. Just like ChatGPT, I can ask it to uh, list out the highlights. So please list out the uh, highlights from that book. It will now go into that note and pull on my reading highlights and just frame them nice and clean here. So, you know, if I just wanted the information, like I was validating an idea right now, maybe I just read through it and take note of it. If I'm writing a paper or something where I want to reference it, I could actually copy it. Uh, I can really do whatever I want, but I don't have to go into the note to get the actual information. And again, that will work for not only books, it'll work for any collection of notes you have. I think the tag filter is uh, certainly one of my favorites there for that reason. Okay, so I showed you how to call on information from something like a past book that you've saved, but let's do some actual research with the AI chat. So what I have here is an academic article on cognitive plasticity. And if you kind of scroll down here, there's a ton of text. That's because I've effectively used our Chrome extension to highlight the entire research paper so that it is saved within my notes. And this is going to allow me to effectively chat with the research paper. Um, so I'm going to again go into our search and I'm going to type in uh, cognitive city. And I'm going to change the search type to exact because I really just only care about this one paper. And if you see the other note in here, that's just because it is safe within uh, the daily note on the date that I actually saved the link. But um, I'm going to go into chat now and I'm going to first ask it to summarize all of the notes related to cognitive plasticity. So, of course, I just have that one right now. But um, if you had a bunch of research papers, you could use it to um, summarize all of those research papers on one topic. Or if you, you know, wanted just that single note, you could add, uh, any of the notes that were linked to or from that, et cetera, et cetera. So lots of different things you could do, but I only have this one and here provides a pretty good summary, but let's say that I'm very new to this topic, which I am. And I'm going to now ask it to, uh, please, uh, summarize that information in bullet points that anyone could understand. And that's going to make sure that it puts it into kind of more simple words. And there I have my bullet point list. So you can see now that it got much, much simpler. It's now kind of giving me an elementary education on uh, neuroplasticity. Maybe not elementary because the research paper itself was elementary, but uh, it gives me insights that I don't need any background knowledge to understand. Um, and you know, I could, start asking it like, uh, I don't know, if I were to write a paper on something related to this, give me some points about X, or if I wanted to, uh, I don't know, prevent a decline in cognitive plasticity, is there anything I can do about that? I can start going into all of these questions. And as long as the information is somewhere in the research paper or papers that I've saved, it's going to give you pretty good results. Okay, last example for today, but it's actually one of my favorites because I think this is going to be one of the ones that I end up using the most frequently. So one of the things I like to do with the daily note format is I will actually put my reminders in the daily notes in the future because I use reflect every day. And so there's actually zero chance that I'm going to miss that because even on the weekends, I work out of my daily note, even if it's a little bit of a different structure. So you can see here on the 28th, which is got, I don't know, nine days in the future. Um, I have a reminder here to cancel a free trial that I started. That is something that I do if I want to try a software product that makes me put in my credit card for a free trial, uh, which does annoy me, but I want to make sure that I don't accidentally subscribe to it because some products don't give uh, refunds. So here I just have one to cancel the trial before it actually renews. And I've got a bunch of these that I set out in the future. So here I'm going to set my filter to daily note is after today. So anything that's in the future. And I'm going to call on our chat here. And I'm going to say, uh, what reminders do I have set in 2023? Because maybe I've set reminders like years into the future, but I don't want to uh, actually see those. And so it's going to look at my daily notes and it's going to list out all the reminders that I have. So there's that trial that I set to cancel. Um, I have a friend and his girlfriend coming to stay with us. Um, and then let's maybe take, a, you know, a birthday and be like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot it was, uh, Julian's birthday party coming up. Um, I need to get a gift. So, 
um, you know, I can go into this and if there's any details that I had, I can actually go into the note name. Um, I don't think I do have for this one. I just put a birthday reminder. Uh, so you could put any reminder in there. It could be anything from free trials to meetings. Um, if you wanted to set, you know, like upcoming client meetings, you could go put those in future dates and then you can ask your notes, um, what client meetings you have coming up. Um, you know, if you've got like an investor pitch, uh, you can have those and use the chat to actually, um, kind of do some back and forth preparation for it. So again, there's a lot more to explore here and I'm quite excited to see what other people find as well. So if you have found a cool use case for either the advanced search, the AI chat, or both, uh, you can either leave them in the comments of this video. You can send me an email at sam at reflect.app. And yeah, tell us what you find. And I'd like to do a couple more of these videos at least uh, walking through some of these examples. So again, if you haven't tried it yet, go try uh, reflect.app for free. You can import your existing notes and get started doing uh, some advanced searching and some chatting with them. It's very, very fun. It takes just a little bit of practice to get used to, but I do think once you start using it for a few days, it sort of starts triggering all the other things that you could do with it. And it just becomes fun to kind of keep trying. So hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you find anything else.